Hey, Steve, so, you know, in my mind, vegetables, I mean, I consider garlic a vegetable, obviously. Yeah. You want warm weather and all that, and that encourages growth. But, I mean, gingerbine, it's cold there, though, isn't it? Yeah, gingerbine's freezing. We get, we can get up to 30, 40 centimetres of snow every year. Wow. So it actually comes through. But we like that because the garlic clove itself, because of the cold climate and the, and the snow, yeah. produces more oil to protect itself. Oh. So. We don't know how that relates to health benefits or anything else, but we know it definitely helps store the garlic a whole lot longer. So tell me, how do you how do you grow garlic? Like when do you put them in the ground and when do you harvest them? Garlic comes from something like this. So this this bulb yep. is what you get at the end of the harvest season, which is around December or so. Okay. So from that bulb, one clove has grown that whole bulb. So, no, really? Yeah, so that's how we grow it. We split them apart and we plant these in the ground. Yeah. And then seven to eight months later, we come out with a bulb like this, if we've done it right. And there'll be about 15,000 of them going in again this year. 15, By 000. hand, oh, my teenage son, I'll tell you, he's <laughs> my not very happy with you? me at the end. <laughs> Hey Steve, so what have you brought today with you? What have you got here? This is a garlic relish and that goes really well on cheese and crackers with meats, your cold cuts. Yeah, or um, a piece of steak. I mean, dollop of that on the side. Perfect. This one's yet to be labelled because it's just an absolute new release and this is a garlic glaze. Gosh. This goes over all, all your roasts and all those sorts of things. It's really syrupy and it's, Look at that. it's a reduction, so it's actually... Um, it's a beautiful one. And in terms of the garlic varieties you've got here, you've got the purple ones and the white ones. The purple came from overseas. It came with Yugoslavian tunnel diggers. And the purple grows very much around um, seven or eight cloves yeah. in, a, in a beautiful little formed circle. Of course. But with these whites, these yeah, white a... ones, you want to rip it open and have yeah. a look. This particular Italian white is like a flower head oh, around yeah. a central stem. It's some called Australian white now that it's been here for that long. Right. This one is said to be a, a whole lot more pungent and stronger in flavour right. than what the white one is. Um, yeah. But I, I find the two suit different cooking needs. What, what are some of the common myths you've heard about garlic? <laughs> myths? Oh, there's so many myths about garlic. Um, but one of the ones that I really want to see validated is the one about medicine and cholesterol. Um, because down in Adelaide, they did a test study on, on garlic and, and how that helps with lower cholesterol and blood pressure. Right. And that one was actually validated as a study out of, out of um, South Australia. There's more studies that are going on at the moment, but yeah. with, the, with the produce like we've got in Australia, yeah. it's the perfect place to be buying it and I eating it. I think so. But also, it goes incredibly well as an aphrodisiac in wine. No, if you chop it up, because and wine. yeah, because <laughs> there's, there's so much oil in it. If you throw, if you mince it up and you throw it in a glass of wine, and I've tried it, so I know it's true. If you throw it into a glass of wine, it's fantastic. Makes you go a bit crazy then. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I much prefer to put this in my lapsa piece, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.